sorry i have not done a video in like so long i think it's been like a month um i had so much going on i have been so busy i've been so tired i've also um started like loads of videos and not finished them because i just have been just been going a little bit crazy i think i've got that baby brain what they say i've started filming things and then the main part of it completely forgot to film so I can't use any of it. So yes, I'm going to try and get back on track for the birth and get everybody up to date. This video is going to be me talking about what I've been up to recently which is working with um, Pampers actually. Which has been so amazing because I mean I, for me it's quite exciting. I use Pampers the whole way through with Ella. But um, mainly because it's a campaign and it's an amazing campaign. Hashtag thank you midwife. And it's all about thanking your midwives for the amazing work they do. One in three midwives feel undervalued and unappreciated, which is really sad. Um, for me, I just think, how is that even possible? But then I kind of get it because I definitely don't think I thank my midwife half as much as I should have. But when you're in that kind of moment, it, is, it does feel like it's all about you. And you kind of forget that anybody else is the room once you meet your baby. Like, that's it. It's all about you. It's all about your baby. And you kind of do just dismiss everybody else. And that isn't anything wrong. Like, you're not doing anything wrong. You've just given birth. But this is just a brilliant, easy way to hashtag thank you midwife. And I think, why not? I think everyone that's had a midwife, had a good experience with a midwife, should be doing it. Because it is such a great thing that Pampers are doing. So, let me try and explain the campaign a little bit. Oh, by the way, I am... 35 weeks pregnant. I'm telling everyone I'm 34, then just found out when I was filming this earlier, and then I had to start again. I just found out I was 35 weeks pregnant, which means I've just lost a week. Which means I only have five weeks left. Really, baby could come at any time now, really. Um, so I need to get the baby room sorted, and I need to get baby bag sorted. I need to wash all of the baby clothes. I'm gonna do videos of all of this. I need to basically sort my life out. So. Yeah, so my role in this is trying to get everybody to do the hashtag thank you midwife on the social media side of things because it's so important that we thank our midwives. Um, so all you really need to do is post a picture, maybe of you and Baba or baby or you and your midwife if you have one and just write your experience. You don't have to get into detail. Hashtag thank you midwife at the end. Obviously, I'm working closely with midwives right now. Like I'm meeting them and I have my own midwife throughout this pregnancy, who is so, so lovely. She has a really calming voice. She completely relaxes me. She's been absolutely amazing. Like, to be honest, like, I feel like with midwives, they're almost like counselors as well. I find that she's so calming and such a calming influence on me. Like, I just feel so relaxed when I'm, I'm with her. So I want to thank her because I, th I think she's absolutely... I, I won't name her because I feel like she won't want to be named. Because um, she's too cute. So all you need to do, go on social media, hashtag thank you midwife, tell your story. Campers are actually doing with this campaign is they're putting a pound towards every hashtag thank you midwife. And it's going to go towards the Royal College of Midwives. And... Um, which I think is amazing. We've already got lots of people to do it, but we need more people to do it. Also, if they're feeling undervalued and unappreciated, we just want to give them like a high five and a cuddle and just say like, thank you so much. You, It did not go unnoticed. Yes, I was given birth, but thank you so much for everything that you've done. Also with that, Pampers did some investigating and they spoke to a lot of midwives and they said, obviously after hearing that one in three feel completely undervalued, they also heard that they barely even get tea breaks. Obviously it's pretty hardcore what they have to do and what they go through what they see sometimes i mean honestly i would actually love to be a midwife i think it's amazing getting to bring a newborn baby into the world but there's also ups and downs with that as well which i can imagine can be really awful and tough to see um and to not even get a tea break pampers are choosing 10 of the hospitals with the most hashtag thank you midwives involved in it and they are going to be doing up their tea rooms which is just so cute and make them feel a little bit special for once give them somewhere nice to sit they're going to be and they're doing it all for nothing just to say thank you really and it is brilliant and 
that's why I'm so lucky and happy to be involved with it all. I think it's absolutely amazing. So I thought I would tell my little story. Um, my midwife was called Jacqueline. This is my birthing midwife. So I'd turned up all huffy and puffy and thrown up everywhere. Probably all over her as well, to be fair. Um, and straight away, she was in there like so calming, so relaxed. Definitely helped me out, like, because you kind of feel like, obviously it was my first baby, I didn't know what was going on. And you need someone that knows what, what's going on. So obviously as soon as you see your midwife or a midwife, you go, ah, help me, fix me. What is this pain? Fix me, make it better. And you just, I put all of my trust in her. I literally was like, Jesus, take the wheel. Midwife, take the wheel. Um, because, and her name was Jacqueline as well. As soon as I heard her name was Jacqueline, I felt like we had a connection. I was like, because I don't really meet that many people with the name Jacqueline. And so I just thought it was really weird that my midwife was called Jacqueline. She was an amazing, amazing woman. And um, she was just, she let me get on with what I wanted to get on with. She definitely wasn't like too in my face. She definitely took a back seat. And then when I really needed to kick up a gear, she definitely came in and was like, look, this needs to happen now. This needs to happen now. You need to listen to me. I was wailing a bit and going a bit cray cray towards the end. And she just came down to my level because I was in the pool. And she said to me like, Jacqueline, you need to calm down now. Stop the dramatics. Just breathe. If, if you carry on like this, you're not going to have enough energy to push. You're wasting your energy for the wrong reasons. Please just listen to me. If you listen to me within 20 minutes, your baby will be here. And with that, I was like, okay, game time. And in my head, it was like five minutes from that point, baby was here, floating up to me. And they would just swam up to me in the water. And I... I think about it now and I just, I don't, I don't know if I really thanked her because as well, they just move on because they're still working, you know, we just had this amazing baby, but they, they still got a job to do. So they're doing everything else that they need to do and they're working tirelessly and endlessly for you and your baby's safety, you know, that is so important and they, they need this, they need us to say thank you to them. It's so important and I just really want to thank you Jacqueline from the Princess Royal Hospital in Alpington. I really want to thank you for being absolutely amazing, being really calm when you needed to be and a bit more forceful when you needed to be. I really appreciate it. Um, honestly, I wouldn't have been able to do it without you and I hope to see you soon or whoever's going to be my midwife next. This is a Thank you to you too. Whoever's going to help me give birth, thank you. Please be nice to me. I, let's talk to Jackie. She knows all about my dramatics and how to handle me. <laughs> but yeah, I just really wanted to share that little message. I do think it's really important that we do that. So yeah, 34 weeks pregnant. No, 35 weeks. What is wrong with me? See? Baby brain. 35 weeks pregnant. I need to start getting stuff done now. I mean, I've got so much to do, it's not even funny. Love Island starting soon, which is lovely. Get to watch that, which is nice. I'm very excited about that because I feel like that's going to be like my build up and my relaxation every night so that I don't panic about having this baby. It's nice to have something to watch. So thank you, Love Island, for that. I will be watching everybody fall in love and whatever else they do on that show. <laughs> I have been very, very lucky with Ella recently. She's learning to go to sleep on her own. She has woke up the last two nights. We had a whole week of her sleeping through the whole night, taking herself to bed. Obviously, I give her a kiss and a cuddle, but then I leave the room and she... Sometimes she gives has a little mind, but most of the time she just gets herself to sleep. It has been pure bribery in which I have done this. All I have done is give my Ella Squidge a little incentive. Okay? So sitting up here is a, um, is a little bag. All it has in is literally a Barbie toy and a big phone. 
nothing expensive, nothing crazy. She appreciates everything she ever gets. She's such a good girl like that. Um, Storm, little Storm update. He's amazing. He has a funny tummy, right? Give him a worming tablet and everything else. Took him to the vets. And so I've had to cook him chicken and rice. The vets orders. And he's absolutely loving it. I, on the other hand, I'm like, I can't believe I have to cook the dog chicken and rice every morning. Ridiculous. So he's getting fresh chicken and rice every morning, which is fabulous for him, I'm guessing. And it's going to be a struggle probably to get him back on his dog food. Do you know what? He's been wicked. He's really good on his walks. Um, he's really good at responding, coming back to to me. He's he's actually done so well. Like fingers crossed. We've been really lucky. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I uh, I have so much more to show you, but this is just a video about the Pampers campaign. I really wanted to push that message across. So everybody, 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 please thank your midwives. Men, men women, nans, granddads, hashtag thank your midwife. Help this amazing, amazing thing that Pampers are doing. Let's help them out. Let's spread the word and let's thank these amazing men and women.